George, that scar on your cheek. Where did you get it? This? Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. I got it when I was a kid. A childhood injury. Tree climbing? I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. I used to climb it a lot. And fall out of it a lot. <laughs> this wasn't anything like that, though. It was my mother. She did it. I'm sorry, George. Don't worry. It's ancient history. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak. Adults over children, men over women, and criminals over their victims. I have no memories of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. And it didn't stop there. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. Please, Mama. I won't do it again. That hurts, Mama. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. Tree punishment was definitely the worst, I tell you. Just hearing those words used to make me shiver and want to pass out. And that's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Every time after the tree punishment, she'd always say the same thing. This is hurting the tree more than it is hurting you. And me, being a naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods to apologize to the trees. I kept asking myself, why is she hurting me this way? I thought long and hard about it. In the end, I just figured I'm weaker than her. That's why. It's the law of Mother Nature at work. The strong eat the weak. But now, you have the power to protect the weak. That's right. Perhaps I should thank my mother for guiding me into this line of work. York. I've been an arrogant fool, haven't I? And if it weren't for me, both Becky and Diane would still be alive. I could have saved them both. You know, it's almost like they died because of me. You're out of your mind. I invited you to this bar for a drink. But I guess this bar is my confession chamber, and I wanted you to listen. And to tell you, well, you must already hate me for causing all these problems and not following your orders. York, I'm sorry. I'll follow your orders from now on. You'll have my total cooperation. George, you've been as cooperative as you can be. You even invited an FBI guy to a bar for drinks. You've done a good job protecting this town. And the folks here respect you for that. Nobody can blame you for anything. Thanks. I do feel a little better. Hey, Carol. Becky is dead. Diane, too. We've got Nick in custody as a suspect. Nick didn't do it. Uh, I know. Carol, you took a locket from Diane, didn't you? A locket with this mark on it. I'm busy, gotta go.
Oh uh-huh.